documents, such as spreadsheets, they contain hidden formulas, comments, columns, and metadata associated with its creation. You lose all of this. There's three serious problems associated with backups and archives that do not address digital preservation needs today. First, you have to deal with media degradation and software obsolescence. Can you open your five and a quarter inch floppy or even a zip drive? And even if you can, is the data there? Oh, by the way, most, most documentation's in proprietary format. As we know, Microsoft wants to sell you updates every three to four years. It's highly unlikely you can open your documents you created using VisiCalc or WordStar. And oh, by the way, did we realize that your Windows 95 documents cannot be opened by Windows 2007? And third, you have to be able to authenticate that the digital data has not been altered since it was preserved. Our solution solves all these problems. Hmm. Clearly, our primary competition is physical storage, but that's expensive and error-prone, and oh, by the way, doesn't meet that, that new um, legal standard. Hmm. We've, had, we've interviewed and spoken with a, local, a regional health insurance company, spent five days, 120 million hours, looking for 1997 board meeting minutes. Their cost $12,000 to look for a set of minutes. A local law firm shared with us that they, the fact that they spend $60,000 a month to store, sh to store, transport, and retrieve boxes of paper. And by the way, Bank of, America, Bank of America Securities was fined $12 million, that's million, for their slow and incomplete response to an SEC request. And while physical storage, such as paper and microfilm, is highly error prone, there's also the risk of a single point of failure. Case in point, Iron Mountain, the leader in physical storage, recently watched their six-story warehouse burn to the ground in London. All was lost. So InfoPreserve has created Preservation Vault, and Preservation Vault is delivered as a software as a service. Hmm, what does that mean? So that's telling us that it can be, that your digital documents can be immediately accessible via an internet browser and with no need for equipment installation and software installation, we can bring our, bring our customers on board. Well, they don't have to make any large upfront capital investment. Hmm. Our patented software creates this immutable preservation object, ensuring that it can be retrieved even as technology changes for decades to come. And we fully index both the content and the metadata so that it is, it is immediately searchable and accessible. This chart compares InfoPreserve's Preservation Vault to other solutions that are on the market today. And as you can see, when we talk about preservation, the other solutions don't even come close to delivering what InfoPreserve does, especially when we're talking about authentication, format obsolescence, and record and retention management. Clearly, we compete with far less complete solutions, and we've yet to find another company that has a fully featured preservation, preservation capable of what InfoPreserve delivers today. So, what's less complete? 
that would be archiving, paper storage, and content management. And many falsely perceive that content management provides you with some sort of digital preservation. But content management does not address, again, the authentication, retention management, and format obsolescence of software. Hmm. Our target industries are those that are highly regulated, such as healthcare, healthcare and banking, and those that are document intensive, and that would be government and law firms. Well, we performed a series of market assessment and beta trials, and as a result of our positive feedback and the advice of a retired executive director of a Global 100 firm, we are focusing, laser focus, on going to market in the legal industry. <clears throat> our go-to-market strategy is that of channels, because we can quickly reach our target customers as we have identified these lines of business that currently hold strong relationships with their customers. As a matter of fact, of those listed here, four, four participated in our betas, and one just signed as our first channel reseller partner. As I said, our market assessment went so well, not only not only, did we sign, not only did we sign our first client, reseller client, we've also signed our first two direct customers. And because software as a service provides us with, provides us with um, a predictable ongoing revenue generation, we fully anticipate that in the first year we are going to be meeting revenues of just under $500,000. And by year four, we will be meeting a $27 million revenue mark. And again, that software is a service that provides us with the improvement in our gross margins. Hmm. My management team consists of, we have over 100 years of combined experience in both product development, business strategy, and sales. And I'd like to point out the CEO who's here with me today, Eric Leinberg, he has bought and sold three software as a service companies. He's one of the founding partners. We have an outstanding list of advisors, and two of them are our other partners. That would be Dr. Seth Borg and John Holland. Hmm. Our key product, our key milestones for the product, we've completed our betas, and we've now moved on to providing future enhancements, more enhancements to our product platform. So what are we seeking? We're looking for $500,000 in convertible debt, and we're going to use that to ramp up our channel strategy, to go to ramp up our channel strategy, develop our, further develop our sales, build out the rest, of our, the rest of our product enhancements, and also launch into that legal market. We do anticipate the need of $1.2 million and that will help us to expand geographically and regionally, not only geographically, but across the other verticals. What's our strat exit strategy? It's acquisition within five years. Iron Mountain is known for investing in and acquiring businesses that are complementary to theirs. Keep in mind, Iron Mountain made $7 billion, billion dollars in physical storage. And that has to become digital at some point. That leaves significant opportunity for growth above our $27 million year four revenue number, which makes us incredibly attractive for a buyout. In summary, InfoPreserve does support 140 different file formats. And by doing so, we can ensure that your documents are digitally preserved for decades to come. With that, I look forward to future conversations with all of you in the audience. <laughs>